Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Lex Smith and today I'm going to be reviewing the Roll.NZ EUC bodyguard for the Inmotion V11. So this is a prototype uh, bodyguard given to me by Roll.NZ to evaluate. So the actual unit that goes into production may have slight differences. Now they've given me this unit, I'll be upfront about that, but they're not paying me to do the reviews. So these impressions are my honest impressions. And they're from the perspective of a relatively new rider. So I've been riding a few months, done about 700 kilometers in total. The first 500 kilometers were with no guard, bodyguard or power pads. And then I've done about 200 kilometers with the Roll.NZ bodyguard on it. So I'm going to start the review by talking about installing the bodyguard. Uh, this is how she uh, looks off the wheel. And uh, honestly, it's an absolute piece of cake to install, which is great. So this is how I do it. I chuck it over my knee like this. These are the um, these are the pads that ship with it. It's a very ingenious design. There's actually some Velcro on here, and the material of the um, the underside of the cover uh, is a material where Velcro sticks to extremely easy. And you'll notice with these pads, you've got long ones and short ones. So. Um, just through personal, um, I suppose, preference, I prefer the long ones right at the front and top of the wheel. So, actually, I need to come down just a little bit. Here we go. Same as that one. Here we go. Beautiful. And short ones at the back. That's the pads installed. So, it took me about 10 minutes of uh, trial and error to get a, the basic position of, of where I wanted these and then after a couple of hours of riding and tweaking um, I had them in the, I got them in the real sweet spots. So putting it back actually onto the wheel, this is how I found it easiest, is to sort of fold it up like a bit of a sausage, feed one half of it under the uh, handle. Tuck these, oops, camera net, tuck these over these side flaps. And then this wraps around the pedal. Onto that bottom velcro. That piece of velcro here um, was supplied with the colour by Roll.NZ, so I just cut one strip, I cut it in half, stuck half each side. Done, piece of cake. Now I know from reading online comments about the V11, some people get quite bent out of shape that these, uh, like the shock absorber, uh, the top adjusting chamber, you actually have to take these side panels off to get to it. So this adds a little few seconds extra to that process. Personally, I don't find it a problem. I like to check the shock absorber pressures every week. I mean, you're barreling along at 50 kilometers an hour on this thing and you really want to make sure everything's up to scratch. So I like to take the covers off, check it over for any damage, any wear, check the pressures, check the tire pressure and just give it a general, sort of, uh, probably spend 15-20 minutes just checking it over and uh, that just gives me a bit of peace of mind.
though the most important part of the review? What does it feel like when you write it? Well, for me, it's a game changer. And if I'd like, compared to riding a horse, um, I've ridden horses bareback and with a saddle. And the difference with a well-fitted, good quality saddle is it gives, gives the rider a lot more, I guess, makes it a lot easier to communicate what they want to do to the horse, just by using body, body weight shifts and pressure of the legs against the saddle actually basically tells the horse what you want to do and I find this bodyguard does much the same so it's a lot easier to accelerate and brake and also gives me, I feel like it gives me a lot more control over rough terrain especially when I'm some of the footpaths around Auckland and um, when I'm up on the berms are pretty hard going and this definitely gives me more control uh, also, a lot less fatigue. So I've sort of done a few 20 and 30 kilometer rides and found by the end of that my calf muscles were getting quite tired. Well, yesterday I did a 48 kilometer ride and I'd be lying if I didn't. So I was, I was starting to feel it towards the end, but it was only really in the last sort of five or six kilometers. So having this definitely reduced fatigue. And um, another unexpected side effect is, and this might be just because I'm relatively new, but sometimes I'd mount the wheel and, and not quite get it right, I'd end up with my foot too far forward or too far back. Um, since having the bodyguard, every mount's a perfect mount. It just keeps your leg right where it needs to be. So that's a sort of an added bonus. And what I do, and another thing I like about it is it definitely does not impede disembarking from the wheel. I mean, I'm at a distance of this is just, I've never ridden one with the big heavy pads that stick right out, so I could be wrong on this, but it, it, to me it looks like when your legs slotted in there, it uh, could be a bit tricky to get them out in a hurry, uh, but I could be wrong on that, but with this it's definitely not a problem. So um, yeah, that's my overall impression of riding it. I definitely don't want to give it back. <laughs>